Well, how y'all are this afternoon? It's your buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on Let's Shoot No Muzzleloader. So, I got out at the gun show in Lexington at the Shrine last month, and uh, there was a guy there who had all kinds of stuff on display, not much for sale. But one of the things he had was a cut down uh, original period muzzle loading. And he had cut it, it had been cut down about that long. And it had some tack work and stuff like that on it. And he called it a blanket gun. So I was curious about that. So I went home and I started bugging me and so I started doing some research. And there really is such a thing as a blanket gun. Now the Plains Indians are the ones that basically had blanket guns. They would take an older muzzle loading gun, large caliber, smooth bore, whatever it was, and they would figure out some way to cut the barrel down to pretty close to pistol length and then cut the stock down to a pistol grip. The purpose of it was to have something you could have in your bedroll at night in case something came into your camp like a bear or hostile members of another tribe or something of that nature. So that got me to thinking. I got a bunch of old muzzleloaders at the house and all of them work. Let's make a cut down muzzleloader and see what happens. So I had this guy, an old CBA. So I cut this guy down, put me a little front sight pin out on the end of it, and made me not a blunderbuss, not a blunderbuss, maybe a, a blunder minivan, or a blunder subcompact, or, or maybe just a blunder. It just, yeah, they, maybe that's it, maybe just a blunder. So I started out to cut it down there and here. Of course, you can saw off muzzleloader. They're not classified as a fire under, firearm under Title 18 U.S. Code, so you know you can pretty well do whatever you want to with it. So I got it cut off, and I got my front sight pin put on it, and I got the front, front of it cleaned up. And I thought, well, let's take it out and shoot it and see how it shoots. And I found that there was a in my research, I found that there was historically, historically there was this configuration of cut off muzzleloader. And it was referred to as a canoe gun. This would be a gun that a hunter or a trapping party could have in their canoe in case they got close to shore and something made a run at them like a bear or, you know, a hostile or something of that nature. So this is configured now as a canoe gun. Now, I don't know, you know, it's been a long time since these things were commonly in use, but I thought, well, you got it whacked off, let's shoot it. So here we are. What, what, would, what would we do with this thing in modern times? Well, in modern times, it would be a handy backup gun on a uh, primitive weapons, you know, big game hunt. Uh, when, you know, you're using primitive black powder guns by statute, you have to have a black powder gun. So you've got a black powder gun to shoot him with, and then you've got a black powder gun to finish him off with. Because the most dangerous thing a person can do is walk over to a deer that you've even poked it with a, with a uh, muzzle of your gun and you think it's dead and you go to cut its throat and the next thing you know you're in a fight for your life. So it's handy to have a backup black powder gun on a black powder hunt. With that in mind, let's load this thing, see what happens. I've got a little target up down there at 15 yards and I'm going to shoot, um, I'm going to shoot 45 grains and a 455 ball with a thick patch. 
this is a 50 caliber gun. Let's load it to up. Get it galadin. Get the patch over here. See if I can hit anything with it at 15 yards. Get your ball. Run a ball in there. Now this was a rusted out, shot out gun in the beginning. So, you know, I didn't lose much when I cut this thing off. Use a number 11 cap. Get us some ear muzzlers on. And give it a try on that 15 yard target down there. think I hit it. Let's shoot three. Let's shoot three and see what happens. Powder in there. Dump it on the ground. Knock your powder down in there. Get a patch. Ball. A little short ramrod. Just cap. And just a face full of black powder smoke. Like these old patches, it's hard to get them on there centered. I get through with these, I'm gonna to go to using muslin cloth with that ain't even straight at all. I'm gonna to go to use some muslin cloth and just putting it on there, putting the ball in it, and then pushing it, cutting off the excess. These patches are for the birds. Hard to get it on our centered. Keep trying. All right. I think that'll do it. Maybe. All right. Shot number three. No idea where they're at.
remember, this gun was already pretty ruined when I went to cutting on it. how we didn't do. See how we didn't do. Ah, uh, we didn't do. Well, at least I hit the paper twice. That's got a lead marker on it. Definitely ball. So there's one, two, three. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it'd have to be a close range, buddy. That's all there is to it. This gun didn't shoot very good when I started cutting on it, so. But a close range, when you're walking up on one, you think he's got him down. You know, you can put another one in him point blank range and be pretty safe. Uh, I may try this thing with shot and see that's another video but we may try this thing with shot. Uh, that's 15 yards and that accuracy is very poor. Of course it wasn't that good of a gun to start with. So anyway that's about the size of that for the canoe gun <laughs> the canoe gun uh, it works it's like a lot of things I review on this channel it works but not real well uh, kind of a little novelty item something that's fun to shoot I may give it a try with um, oh I don't know a half an ounce of number six or something and see how that works but uh, for now that's about the size of it. Uh, buy you an old $15 muzzle loader and a hacksaw and get to work. Uh, that's it. Like, take, share, pie, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket if you want to keep on seeing foolishness like this. Uh, be kind to everyone you meet. Join the NRA. God bless everybody, and we'll see you when we see you. Bye now.